Hi, I'm Yoshik Nam. I'm working for uh, Korea Nuclear Association of International Cooperation. Uh, I'm very honored and delighted to have the opportunity to attend and present at this INSIC 2023 meeting. KNA is, uh, you know, to, to promote uh, international cooperation and uh, to promote nuclear exports for Korean nuclear industries. Uh, there are some uh, organizations for nuclear industry in Korea. For example, KAIF, Korean Atomic Industrial Forum. Actually, they are working for uh, nuclear industry, but uh, just domestically, not, not international cooperation. Another, orga another organization is KNS, Korea Nuclear Association. Uh, KNS is uh, uh, focused on, uh, you know, uh, academically. So uh, uh, most members of KNS are uh, professors and researchers. Uh, I personally am uh, working for KNS as an auditor, the board member. Uh, today, I'd like to discuss with you the status of uh, uh, nuclear power plants and the SMRs in Korea and the nuclear cooperation between Korea and the in India. The first slide is a view of the Cheonggyecheon stream in downtown Seoul in the 1950s. It looks very uh, bare and uh, shabby. Um, actually, I was born near Cheonggyecheon in 1961. Uh, but uh, now, the, uh, it looks very... Uh, It looks very different. Thanks to economic development, the area around the Cheonggyecheon stream is beautifully lit up with the buildings. The foundation of this development was the smooth supply of electricity and the introduction of nuclear power in the 1970s. In 1978, then President Mr. Park Jung hee uh, visited the main control room to celebrate the commercial operation of Korea's first nuclear power unit, the Gori Unit 1. I, I guess it uh, symbolizes the importance of our national leaders' foresight for the future. Over the past six years, South Korea's nuclear power industry has made remarkable progress. And this photo uh, shows the Shinhan uh, Units 1 and 2, which recently entered the commercial operation. Uh, as, as I introduced the Gori Unit 1's uh, commercial operation in 1978, at the time, the total uh, electric capacity of Korea was uh, just uh, 3 gigawatts. But uh, Korea Unit 1, uh, supplied by Westinghouse, uh, was, is uh, five, 587 kilo, kilowatt, uh, megawatts, so roughly 20% uh, uh, portion of uh, total ele electric uh, capacity. So that's a very uh, challenging uh, decision. But as I mentioned, then the President, Mr. Park, decided to introduce nuclear power. Um, South Korea laid the groundwork for the introdu introdu introduction of nuclear power in the 1950s with the enactment of the uh, atomic Energy Act, which led to the completion of the first turnkey uh, Gori Unit 1 in the 1970s. Afterward, the localization of nuclear power plants was promoted, and the Gori 
unit three, three and four, and Han Bit unit three and four were constructed in a turnkey manner in the 1980s. It was followed by the construction of the Korean standard type nuclear power plant, we say OPR, optimized power reactor, in series, in series in the 1990s. Uh, in the 2000s, the, the country uh, pushed for full-scale technological self-reliance, developing the APR 1400 and exporting nuclear power technology to the United, United Arab Emirates for the first time. In the 1910s, Korea uh, developed its own APR Plus technology and began developing uh, small modular reactors. Uh, this figure uh, shows the history of Korean uh, localization drive over the time. Uh, today, South Korea had 25 nuclear power plants in operation with three under construction and two planned. Since the new government took office last year, South Korea has been pursuing a strong policy of nuclear expansion and has been accelerating the development of uh, SMRs as well as the nuclear power plant exports. Personally, the uh, last year uh, we, we can what it can the pro-nuclear government were well, very, very fortunate. You know, the previous government the policy was uh, anti-nuclear policy. They, uh, they were trying to uh, get uh, the nuclear phase-out policy. But uh, now, the current, um, current government is uh, pushing the nuclear energy uh, to, to Korea. And uh, uh, the current the president, Mr. Yoon, is very um, active. In, 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 in nuclear export as well as uh, expansion of nuclear energy domestically. Um, the last year, uh, we, uh, uh, the, the portion of install, installed capacity of nuclear energy around uh, 20, but uh, last year we, we produced a nuclear electri electricity uh, around the 30 percent of total uh, power production. Uh, next, is, next is Korea's entry into the global nuclear market. Uh, Korea has a well organized business structure uh, supported by the government Minister of Trade, Industry and Energy and the post a strong teamwork called Team, Team Korea. Uh, as you can see, uh, KNA is in charge of uh, uh, internet, internet cooperation, and uh, Capco and uh, KHMP uh, doing main role to, uh, to do actual, actual activities for nuclear exports. And uh, under this scheme, the Capco ENC, Capco Nuclear Fuel, KEPCO KPS, you know, Tucson Enability, uh, KHMP, and uh, uh, several uh, construction companies are working for uh, Team, Team Korea. Uh, Korea's strengths is uh, its continuous experience in nuclear power plant construction, which has resulted in the world unprecedented achievement of one time within budget as demonstrated in the Baraka project, proven reliable technology, solid supply chain, and continu continuous innovation. Uh, as you know, the, in Korea, we have uh, constructed, uh, we continuously constructed uh, nuclear power plants since uh, 1990s, so every year 
we continue to, to construct nuclear power plants. That's a uh, uh, big um, benefit for the uh, nuclear power program domestically and uh, uh, nuclear exports. The Baraka project in the UAE includes the construction of four APL1400 units and accompanying fuel supply and operational support. Uh, three units are currently in operation, in commercial operation, with the remaining unit uh, scheduled to enter commercial operation early next year. Uh, I personally was uh, working for the Baraka project. At the time, I was a site manager from... In addition, there were many uh, design changes due to uh, harsh conditions, frequency. The following is the status of SMR uh, development in Korea. Uh, as you know, the nuclear power plants are becoming uh, increasingly important for uh, global climate change response and the energy security. And the SMR's uh, modular nuclear power plants of 300 megawatts or less, which are expected to replace fossil fuels to provide not only power for hotspots, but also uh, process heat, district heating, and hydrogen production. Currently, about 85 types of SMRs are being uh, developed worldwide, and they have uh, advantages such as low initial investment cost, shorter construction periods due to modular construction, and safety. Although many organizations make various market forecasts, it is generally uh, predicted that 65 to 85 gigawatts of SMRs will be built by 2035. According to a recent publication, about uh, 120 units and 40 gigawatts are expected to be added by 2050 as a base uh, scenario. Uh, Korea is the world's first smart uh, SMR model certified by regulators. But construction has not yet been promoted. And the, and the country that is developing an innovative ISMR based on smart technology. Actually, smart is, uh, you know, the, uh, we are uh, trying to get uh, some uh, some chance in in Canadian market, uh, Canadian uh, lo local government of Canada want to use SMR technologies for their uh, lithium mining. So uh, our carry Korea Atomic Research Institute and uh, uh, the private company together are working for the. Uh, participate in, 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 in this, this market. Um, actually, we, uh, in, in Korea, we have uh, uh, four SML models uh, already developed or uh, under uh, developing. One is smart, as I mentioned. Uh, the others uh, uh, ISMR is uh, developing based on smart, smart technology. And uh, another one is Bandi. Bandi is uh, uh, developing um, uh, by, you know, Capco ENC, Capco Engineering uh, Construction Company. So uh, actually another one is uh, uh, develop, developing by the carry, but uh, I, I have not uh, uh, detail about that, that, that model. So just uh, I, uh, I'm mentioning the three uh, SM models in, in, in Korea.
smart uh, has been developed for multiple uh, applications. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, The smart, you know, got uh, uh, standard design approval in 2009 from the Korean regulators. Uh, actually, this is uh, one of uh, the first in the world to get approval, but unfortunately, uh, uh, we, we cannot construct the smart model in, in Korea and in, in other, other countries. But the 2015, we, uh, um, we, we made uh, some contract in Saudi Arabian uh, site. Uh, we, uh, uh, we are doing uh, together for pre-project engineering services. Uh, but uh, uh, due to uh, government issue and the economic issues, the, that, uh, that project is stopped. And uh, uh, now, you know, uh, currently the very uh, difficult situation for the further processing. Uh, and uh, 2019, uh, we, uh, uh, we get uh, standard design approval, but uh, based on the uh, Saudi Arabian the, uh, PP project, we we changed many uh, uh, many items, and uh, we, uh, we 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 already applied for uh, changed design for Korean Korean regulatory. So we are we are waiting for their review. Let me uh, introduce the, the smart technology. Um, electric power around 100 megawatts and uh, design life 60 years. The, uh, the same as uh, uh, large, large scale uh, plant. Um, so that, that design is, uh, you know, the, uh, we, we say mono, mono, monolithic all-in-one uh, reactor. Uh, the, we did the, the main um, equipment located within the reactor pestle and there is a uh, passive safety system and a full digital uh, control system. This is uh, the plan uh, layout. Um, actually, the plan layout is similar to a conventional large nuclear plant, but significantly Small, smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, let me uh, uh, explain more about the smarts. I mentioned the uh, they have all in on uh, concept. And, uh, um, some uh, some innovative concepts. All major components in reactor vessel. And. Uh, uh, we select the modularization for field installation and maintenance, uh, PSSF system, the fully digi uh, digital, digitalized the control system. Um, that's it. Yeah. Now let me uh, turn to uh, ISMR. The uh, Okay. Um, the ISMR, which is currently under conceptual design, uh, employs innovative technologies such as uh, control element driving mechanism in the reactor vessel and uh, boron free operation. Actually, two uh, char character characteristics uh, uh, very different from the uh, smart smart design.
the 170 megawatt ISMR will have a design life of 80 years, a core damage frequency of 10 uh, over mass 9, and uh, an economic target of 3,500 uh, US dollars per kilowatt overnight cost, and uh, 65 US dollars per megawatt hour uh, LCOA, level at cost of uh, electricity. Let me uh, compare the, this value to the uh, conventional large scale uh, nuclear power plants. Recently, uh, we are planning the Shin Hanul Trempo, the equipped with the APR 1400. The construction cost for Shin Hanul Trempo uh, would be uh, roughly 3,000. 200 US dollars for, for kilowatts. So uh, that means the, the target of uh, ISMR uh, con construction uh, economic um, value would be very similar, but uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the new scale issue we, we have uh, read the, uh, on the newspapers many times. Actually, new, new scale, uh, as you know, the, the construction cost so far, 20,000 US dollars for kilowatt. Very, very, very big number. But uh, ISMR, our target is uh, uh, similar with the large, large scale uh, nuclear plant, APR 1400. It's a very uh, uh, wonderful um, target to the future uh, in, 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 in evolution. Okay. Um, it, is, it also adopts uh, uh, helical type steam generator and the uh, can type HP, mo HP motor. Uh, this, is, this, this is better. Uh, yes. Uh, the uh, uh, helical type steam generator can mo uh, motor pump. It is also equipped with the various passive facilities, such as the uh, auxiliary feed water system uh, to maximize the safety. Okay. Um, ISMR is compatible with renewable energy by having load following capability and can be used for various purposes such as district heating and desalination and the flexible facilities can be selected with multiple uh, modules. Uh, so, the ISMR will begin standardized design from next year with the goal of obtaining standard design approval by 2028 and the commercial operation of the first unit in the early 2030s. Okay, uh, next up is nuclear cooperation between uh, India and the South Korea. As you probably know, the, uh, India has a roadmap for its decarbonization goals, and it is understood that we will have 20 new uh, nuclear power plants by 2031 to reach 22 gigawatts of nuclear capacity. 
India has a number of uh, different types of reactors, including indigenous PHWRs, the Russian um, VBRs. And we understand that they, uh, they will also be working with the US, France, and others. We also understand that they have uh, a 30 phase uh, uh, nuclear program forward to cooperation in construction, operation, and maintenance of conventional light water reactors, heavy water reactor, reactors, and SMRs. I'd, I'd, I'd like to add one last thing to my presentation. With the recent you know, trend of deglobalization, there are many uh, difficulties in maintaining supply chains. Being here and visiting the exhibition of Indian nuclear industry equipment and service providers outside, I believe the supply chain cooperation between uh, nuclear power plant oper operators operating and supplying countries is important. Regardless of ge geopolitical issues, I hope and I expect that uh, the, the nuclear industry leaders here will work together for the sustainable development of nuclear energy in the future. Thank you for your attention. Tanya, Tanya Bhatt. Thank you, Mr. Yoshik Nam, for maintaining the reputation, Korean reputation, for being able to deliver on time. Thank you. Now, I invite some questions from the audience. Sir, for, for the wonderful lecture, I am Hari Krishnan from BRC. I have a two-part question. First one is, uh, how do you assess the public perception post uh, the release of treated uh, radioactive water from Fukushima. And second one is, how do you seismic proof your SMRs? Because uh, Korea has a lot of seismic activity. Thank you. First, first question is about public acceptance. Um, as I mentioned, the, the previous government, the nuclear policy was uh, very uh, anti-nuclear. Uh, at the time, the uh, most of uh, Korean people do not support nuclear energy, actually. But uh, uh, last year, we, we got a new uh, government. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, the, the current president, Mr. Yoon, uh, is, is supporting nuclear energy fully. So uh, uh, the mainly uh, KHMP, Korea Hydro Nuclear Power Company and uh, KEPCO, Korea Electric Power Corporation, uh, working together to, uh, to, to promote uh, nuclear energy uh, to get uh, uh, public acceptance. So uh, in Korea, uh, there is uh, one dedicated organization to, uh, to, to promote uh, the public acceptance. Uh, so uh, they are uh, working very hard, and as far as you know, the recently the KAIF, Korean Atomic Industry Forum, uh, did the, some survey uh, of the, the public. So uh, um, my understanding is the the more than half of the Korean people uh, to understand the necess necessity of nuclear energy. In, in Korea. So uh, you have to work hard more. And uh, 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 I, I'm very positive because the current, current, the current government is very uh, uh, supporting nuclear energy. So uh, the public can uh, understand the, the, uh, the, the need of uh, nuclear energy. But uh, as you mentioned, the Fukushima accident the, uh, the Korea is located just near Japan. So many, uh, many politicians, many uh, local people are worrying about the, any impact 
release of uh, Fukushima uh, processed water. But uh, uh, the uh, Korean the nuclear the circles, including KNS, KF, uh, KNA, uh, together uh, with the KHMP and KEPCO, the it's trying to uh, make uh, the public people understand the the uh, less impact of uh, Fukushima, uh, the the processed water release in the in the into the sea. So uh, uh, nowadays, um, the uh, some the voice from the public is less and less. So. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very I'm positive on, on this issue. The other question is about the SMRs. Uh, so you, your question is the I, ISMR? No. How do you see? Seismically prove your ISMRs. That's what. I'm sorry? Seismically qualify your SMRs, right? That's what you're saying? How do you seismically qualify your SMRs? That's what is. Ah. The, as I mentioned, SMART is the, the uh, first unit, first, first SMR in the world to get uh, uh, the standard design approval from the regulatory body. Um, so someone has uh, some, some different idea how to get uh, uh, stand, stand design approval uh, from the, the Korean uh, regulatory body at the time. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, Korean um, nuclear authority uh, offer the approval of uh, the standard design for smarts. Um, but uh, there are some problems in, 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 in constructing, actually, the smart. Uh, we say uh, uh, smart has, has uh, some lack, lack of uh, uh, constructability and operability. So that's why uh, the, the joint work with the Saudi Arabian part, partner, uh, we try to uh, change of uh, uh, engineering and design, but unfortunately uh, the co-works was stopped. And, uh, but anyway, we are, uh, we are trying to get uh, uh, another approval of uh, uh, the standard design from the Korean uh, regulatory body. So we are waiting for the final review uh, at this time. So uh, mm, that, that's um, my answer. Is, is it enough for you? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think you, you replied well, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Noam. Mr. Kalshi would like to ask the next question. Hello. Uh, thank you, Mr. Noam, for that very informative and uh, enlightening uh, presentation. Uh, my question is, we, we conceptualize uh, SMRs as something that we put and forget, right? And they operate well. So, but it has some active and passive features. Uh, and the active ones would require maintenance and the passive ones would require in-service inspection. So, what is the kind of maintenance your ISMR or SMART would require? And what features you have included to ensure this maintainability? Mm. Um, as shown in the slide, the uh, ISMR uh, is under concept design you know, uh, by, the, by the end of this year. Uh, so I, I'm not sure the uh, uh, the details of, of the I ISMR, but uh, uh, from next year, we, we will do the uh, standard design for ISMR. Uh, 
by the uh, applying for the um, rights of the approval of a Korean nuclear, nuclear regulatory body. So uh, uh, I'm sorry for some detail. Uh, uh, I, ca I cannot I, I can give away this time. But uh, uh, if you are interested in more, please let me uh, let me know the, by email or some other ways. I'll, I'll provide more, more information about that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay.